So for those of you who followed my channel for a while, you'll know that I have tried different Forex trading strategies, as well as indicators, Forex robots, and many different trading styles. But after struggling for four years, I finally found the trading strategy for me. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I trade this strategy. So make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss any of the key details. Without further ado, let's get into it. I do my trading on TradingView. So this is what the TradingView usually looks like. But for our strategy, we wanna be able to see two charts at once. So to do that, we go on to select layout and we choose the split screen there. On the left is the four hour chart and on the right is the five minute. Now this strategy is incredibly simple. All we're doing is we're using the four hour chart to see which direction the market is likely to go. And then we're using the five minute chart for our entries. Now we trade three four hour candles per day. So the candles we trade are the two to six a.m. candle, which is the Asian session, the six till 10 a.m. candle, which is the London session, and the 10 until 2 p.m candle which is new york session all of those times are in uk time so what we do is we come to the charts three times a day five minutes before each new four hour candle opening so what i'll do is i'll show you what the strategy looks like on fx replay i've been using this for the past couple of months and it's absolutely amazing particularly for this strategy because as i say you are trading a four hour chart and the five minute so it is quite hard to back test on trading view simply because when we're skipping candles it's skipping four hours at a time or if we skip candles on the five minute it isn't updating this chart as well but with fx replay you can see as we're skipping through five minutes the four hour chart is updating as well so this software has been absolutely essential for me back testing over the past few months we'll have a link in the description for fx replay you can actually use my affiliate code and get 15 percent off it also helps support the channel now that is obviously optional but for me it has just helped with my back testing so much over the past couple of months now, i'm gonna have a full video on fx replay soon We'll go over some of the features as well as how to use it for this strategy. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. But let me show you exactly what we do when we get to the charts. So as I say, we're looking to get to the charts five minutes before each candle open. So that's going to be at 5.55 a.m., 9.55 a.m., and 1 55 p.m so you can see that the two till six asian session candle is just about to close we're at 5 55 a.m here now this is what i'll be looking at when i get to trading view i look at the four hour structure and i look at the close of the previous candle and from that i'm deciding if we're buying or if we're selling now if we have a bullish candle and the market is in a clear uptrend obviously we're looking for buys whereas if the previous candle has closed bearish and we're in a downtrend we would be looking for sells on the opening of the next candle once we've confirmed our bias on the four hour chart we then move to the five minute to look for structure so once the new candle has opened we're waiting for structure to be built on the five minute chart once price has given us structure to work with we can place a buy from the break of the previous high so you can see since the 6 a.m candle open price pulled back gave us a level to work with with a stop loss and we are going for our one to two so say around 90 percent of the time we are going for a one to two the only time i wouldn't is if there was a key level on the four hour chart so this area for instance is a key level so if that was further down here we may go for a 1.5 or maybe even a one-to-one -one. but i wouldn't really take anything less than that if we're not getting enough risk to reward because of rejections i wouldn't look to take the trade now what you can do on fx replay is you can actually place order so i'll show you exactly what it would look like if you were to take that trade on live markets you can also do different types you can do limit market or stop we're always looking for stops, so whether it's buy stop or sell stop, simply because we're looking for our level to be broken and price to continue in our direction. We're also risking 1% per trade. If we get into a little bit of drawdown, we may potentially go to 0.5, but on a fresh account, we will be taking 1%. Once we have our order in place, we wait to see if we're triggered into the trade, which we are. Now we play this trade out. You can see we did hit our one to two target. Again, FX replay will show you your profit and loss. Now, another thing worth mentioning as well is sometimes if we don't get triggered into the trade within an hour of the new candle opening, I may potentially delete that trade simply because we may see it as the momentum slowing down slightly. Ideally, a trade would only pull back a little bit and then immediately break the high. But I just wanted to show you what a trade would look like. And obviously, they're not always going to be perfect entries simply because the market doesn't always set up like that. Plus the fact that in terms of manually trading, I am a beginner. 
China, so I don't always get ideal entries, but that is an example of a buy. Now for sales, it is the exact same process, just in reverse. So you can see we come to the markets here at 5.55 a.m. So once the 6 a.m. candle has opened, it's now given us a nice stop loss to work with. So we would take a short from the break of this low. So our order is now in place. So we are now triggered into that trade. And there you go, price has hit our target. So that's what the orders look like for sells. In terms of pairs, I'm mainly trading this on GJ. I do also trade this strategy on Great British Pound US dollar, and I will be back testing more pairs soon as well. I'll have full back test videos coming as well. On those, you'll be able to see exactly how I'm trading this strategy, as well as the results. Now, as I say, I will be trying a $5,000 challenge from tomorrow, and I'll bring you videos on how I'm getting on on that challenge as well. Now, if you have any questions on this strategy, please just let me know in the comments and thanks very much for watching.